Well, good morrow, everyone. Two videos in a row? Almost the same day, I guess? <laughs> well... Yeah, I know. So, apparently, I've been fighting this gumshoe. Well, I had to trade the gumshoes out for one another. You know, just to make sure they don't use struggle. And, like, after the next one, I'm probably gonna have to make the other one fall down to, like, a low. Uh, the day night cycle with this gumshoe. With these gumshoes. And I'm trying to prepare this Pokemon. This Mimikyu right here for the Tiny Turtle, which I might not be able to enter because I forgot my Pokemon Trainer's club account because there's like really nothing for me to do over there. Usually if you want like a world mission or whatever they're called, if you want a global mission, you just go on Festival Plaza and Sign up for it. This tiny tourney is like a global mission, but I mean, it's just... You have to sign up online rather than just going straight to Festival Plaza and say, Oh yeah, I would like to some... I would, I, I would definitely... I would definitely love to uh, sign up for this. But the fucking Pokemon... I keep sending multiple e emails. For them to help me out with my um, Pokemon Trainers Club account. Let me see how many emails I sent. My computer going fucking slow as always. Ah, I fucking hate Alabama. Especially the, uh, what's it called? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I've sent five emails and I'm about to send in another one. This, this one I got pretty serious. Like, I got very serious. Can I talk with someone regarding my account and how I can't log in? Is there a phone number I missed on the website? I want my account back in time for the tiny tourney so I can get the mega stones I want. I have already sent multiple emails about this issue and I would like a reply. Thank you very much. You get to know how kind of serious I got, like, right there. Like, I'm getting fucking pissed off that after, how many emails was it again? Five emails? They still have not responded back, and I'm really, really pissed off about that. Like, I want to enter this tiny tourney, and it's really dumb that they have to make you sign up on the Pokemon Trainer Club just so you can get the Mega Stones you want. And well, if you're wondering what the Mega Stones are, the Mega Stones you get for participating in the Tiny Tourney, it doesn't matter if you win the matches or not, all you have to do is participate in three matches. That's it. Uh, the prize you get are the uh, God of Warite. Galadite and the uh, Lapanite. Those are what you're getting if you participate in the tiny tourney. Huh, I don't have a Z. Oh, right, I switched the Z crystal out for the leftovers so I can have it regain health. Yeah. Just gonna use this faint attack on this gum shoes right here. Guessing. Some... Oh, well, what do you know? This gum shoes was about to die anyways. Faint attack on that one. Look at that damage.
Okay, so three of these Pokemon could be in a tiny tourney. Uh, the Mimic Q right here. I mean, just take a look at its attack stat. 133. <clears throat> I've been getting plus fives ever since this Mimic U got to level 40. And then we have this Kartana, which I can't really easy train because, well, it starts off at level 60 and it's pretty pointless to EV train it right now. And I got a Curlia that I kind of want to EV train. I still need to train that this Curlia just a bit. Probably get rid of that Growl too. Yeah, I probably need to get a Draining Kiss. <clears throat> yeah, I, have a, I forgot what it's what he was. Trace. So that could be a, a curse or a blessing. Then I have this Mawile that I'm also training in attack. Stat. For a while, its attack was much bigger than the health. For a while. I wonder what happened. But yeah, I just started using Mimikyu on these level gumshoes right here. It was at level 33 when I started chaining them. Now it's level 47, and it's like, oh, okay. Oh yeah, by the way, I actually fucking caught a Chansey. Yeah. Not, not with his gum shoes. Like, earlier I decided to train with Lucario. Because, I mean... Then I decided to actually kill off Lucario and see if I could find his gum shoes. Because apparently they give a lot more attack EVs than they Well, actually, I don't know what kind of EVs Lucario... I mean, not Lucario, Ryulu. I just, I just figured out right there that Lucario... You don't encounter the card, you just encounter the other. Why do you have to encounter the other soul? So if you ever want a Chansey, <clears throat> just start um, SOS chaining Ryulu's. That's what I did. Look at that special defense. This defense is pathetic. But Seriously, but its health is... My god! It's outrageous! We also got this. Valir. Smack down, self-destruct. Why? Would you let your... Golem have self-destruct? Anyway, I should probably try to continue SOS. If I get a shiny, I'll probably record it. Put it on there. I mean, it, I'm probably not gonna catch it anyways. I mean, I don't, I don't want a fucking shiny gum shoes. I don't want it. Shiny gum shoes, in my opinion, very stupid looking. Actually, gum shoes itself is stupid looking. I mean, it's like if you see a gummy, shiny gum shoes, you're practically looking at like Donald Trump dyeing his hair pink. Is that, is that, or is that just its previous evolution? Gum shoes. I mean, that meme has set off already. I'm pretty sure. I could defeat mostly. No, 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 no. Before, like, I was like, before their level, I was able to one hit them. Okay. Yeah, it's pink. So if you're if you're like getting a shiny gum shoes, you're just looking at like a black Donald Trump with pink hair. Let's see how many. Okay, now it's a plus three this time. Okay. I'm not complaining all that much, but kind of wish it gave it a little bit more. But yeah. God 
Damn. You know, I can fucking kill off this M shoes now. There's like no point. Like it's nighttime, but I mean like there's no point. I'm gonna fucking return to trying to capture a shiny uh Vulpix in my Emerald playthrough. Yeah. And while I'm trying to um capture a shiny Vulpix, I'll be listening to the game grumps. Cause they're my favorite YouTubers in all the YouTube glory. Markiplier doesn't even compare to them. I mean, we need like channels similar to uh, the Game Grumps. I think Nate and Dookie can be counted as one of those. The Nate and Dookie channel. It's practically Nate wants to battle with Dookie Shed, which apparently they make good friends. And they're making a they they made a channel similar to the Game Grumps. I don't know, I haven't completely watched all their stuff, but they play this Mega Man fan game in there. I think I think they only play fan games and old NES games and all that, yeah. Does anyone even have an Atari anymore? Knowing what an Atari is makes me feel kind of old. Which I'm not even that old to begin with. I mean, 21? Yeah, it's nothing. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not 21. I'm fucking 18. This Mountain Dew stuff is good. I mean, is it gonna... Hmm, I just got that right now. The Dew essay. Man, I'm fucking starting to get all these things I have been getting lately. Like, the Sony logo is like a P overlapping an S, which is which stands for PlayStation. I always thought it was just like this weird looking logo, but when E3 rolled around and I took one good look at the Sony logo, no, I can't think of it. It was a was it the Sony logo? Sony logo. No, 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 no. PlayStation. The PlayStation logo. Okay. Wasn't PlayStation made by Sony? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I just decided to take one look at the Sony logo. Let me just pull it up for y'all. So I just took one look at the Sony logo, I mean PlayStation logo, and I'm like, okay, that's kind of like a weird logo. And then I fucking found out that it's actually a P overlapping an S. So you have the play, and then you have the station. PlayStation. Which really made me feel dumb. And I noticed this at the 2017 E3. You know, the E3 that happened a few days ago before this video? Yup. I'm a fucking idiot. I can't believe I never noticed that until like a few fucking days ago. Like, holy shit. I'm so dumb. Oh, well, I guess it's because I don't really play PlayStation and, well... I actually kind of do. I actually want to get a PlayStation 4 so I can play, uh, what is it? Days Gone and all that, but... I'm also interested in that new Spider-Man game. That looks like a fun Spider-Man game. Um... Legit... I do not have enough money for a PlayStation. Or an Xbox One, which I'm probably never gonna get. Let's be honest. Who fucking plays Xbox? <gasps> no. I've actually played Xbox. Some of the games on it is kind of infuriating. 
Like the Sonic 06 game? Oh, fuck, that made me fucking rage. And then I found out it was an unfinished game. I was like, oh, that case, that makes sense with how many fucked up things there are in it. I managed to beat it. But it took something away from me. My ability to feel love for a Sonic game. Nah, I'm just kidding. I also want to buy the Switch and see if uh, I can, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I want to play Zelda Breath of the Wild as well as Mario Odyssey and Pokemon Tournament. I so want to play Pokemon Tournament and I think all of you would know. Based on the name of my channel and all that, I think all of you would know what Pokemon would be uh, my main. My main Pokemon will be Gardevoir. God damn it. Gardevoir. Yeah, this one. Not the Magikarp. <laughs> That's getting kind of embarrassing. Alright, well, I guess this is a vlog or whatever. Talking about Pokemon and what games I want to play, and yada yada. There's tons of games I want to play, so I'm like, I don't know. Who watches these videos, anyways? Well, whatever, I suppose. I don't know nothing, apparently. Yeah, I also got spanned the other gay, but... <laughs> the other gay? <laughs> I got spammed the other gay. <laughs> okay, I got spammed the other day by this... YouTuber that, when I actually decided to look him up, I found tons of videos about him, about, like, Stay away from this guy. I forgot his name already. Something Remix. NCS, I think. Um, Rewind Remix? Yeah. NCS? Yeah. Don't trust those guys because they spam your videos and all that. They try to make you sub to them. That's what I heard. They do have a lot of subscribers and... Well, they have a bunch of YouTube videos. I'm guessing they're using those YouTube videos to buy. I mean, not buy, to get money and all that. It's fucking dumb. Well, I'm about to end. It's recording's about to cut me off, so. Don't forget to dislike the video. Don't forget to dislike the video and. I don't know. Unsub. Give me negative one million subs. Yeah. I think it was impossible at one point for someone to get negative subs. Isn't that kind of weird? I think that's weird. Yeah, that's really weird.